The first thing you want to check is to make sure that your contact surfaces are clean and secure. So you want to remove your head. You can take off your tail cap and then remove your batteries. Then you want to take a cotton swab and some isopropyl alcohol. You want to clean all the shiny metal surface parts. Those are all contact surfaces. Clean on the inside of your head. Make sure you do the brass ring on the outside and also in the center. Then on your tail cap, you want to make sure that you clean all of your tail cap on that shiny metal ring. And then your light is clean. Okay, well, in installing your batteries, you want to make sure that you have the correct battery type that has been specified by the user manual. Put the battery in the correct position. In this case, the positive end goes towards the head. Make sure that they're both in the same way. Screw on the tail cap and you're ready to go. One of the common problems that can happen is the body won't fit together all the way because the O-rings are not lubricated. You want to take some Vaseline on a cotton swab and just run around that on the threads. This will help so when you put the assembly together it'll go on all the way and it'll slip right past that O-ring nice and tight and secure. Put your batteries in, put your tail cap on and you'll see that that slides on really nicely. One thing you want to check also on the tail cap is to make sure that the retaining ring for the switch is secure. You can use a pair of tweezers and just make sure that that is snug. It, keep in mind that this is also a reverse thread on this ring. So going counterclockwise will tighten it, clockwise will loosen it. You don't need it overly tight, just snug. Your tail cap assembly is made up of six pieces. You have your tail cap housing, your rubber boot switch, your metal washer, your actual tail cap switch, your retaining ring that holds it all together, and a O-ring. You want to make sure that your retaining ring and your switch are clean. Take a cotton swab with some alcohol on it. Clean both sides of your retaining ring. And then you want to clean your switch. You want to make sure that you clean all the way around here. And it doesn't hurt to go ahead and touch up your spring assembly. When assembling it, you want to put your rubber boot switch in first. Your metal washer. Final step is just putting in your retaining ring. You want to put your O-ring inside the back side of that. Flip that over so the dimples are up. Use a pair of tweezers. Turn it counterclockwise until it is secure and tight. And then you're all set. Here's a simple test if your light's not working. Take a common paper clip, hold it to the bottom of the battery and so it hits the metal on the bottom of the chassis. If your light comes on, you may need to replace your switch.